cool that is about invocation but everything is fine you should be asking this question yourself that why do i need it why am i here to learn about flows maybe you are someone you who already knows but let's talk about why do we need it so salesforce is retiring workflow rules and process builders and salesforce is promoting flows like crazy like this is the next best thing this is the diamond in the mine okay and so as a salesforce admin or a developer or someone who's jumping into salesforce flows are one of the most important or powerful tools that you can have in your tool belt okay they combine all the capabilities that you get from workflow rules and process builders and they bring it to you in a single point and click tool right and with much more capabilities with much more handling of bulkification handling of scenarios handling of use cases a lot of more capabilities are available with flows okay so are you someone who wants to get better at salesforce well this curriculum is for you or you know you should go with the flow if you want to become a flow expert and automate pretty much everything that you can through point and click so some people take it as a challenge right uh, if i have a use case can i do this with flows let's not write code at all can i do this with just flows that could be a challenge so that could be your starting point of automation right if you want to handle projects and business requirements just through the flow builder yes that can be done if you want to work on a typical sales pipeline project that involves just leads accounts contacts opportunities tasks can you handle your entire automation through flow builder yes can be done what about a service cloud project you want cases contacts tasks right can they be automated can you put some uh, uh, escalations can you assign some uh, cases can you assign some tasks can you write some follow up automation all of that can be done by flow builder does that mean a mid small to medium size business can be handled by the flow builder i would say 80 to 90% yes then there might be some complex logic that you might have to write through custom code but just imagine the power of flows that lets you cover an entire project just through the flow builder okay and then if you want to get hired for just building ro robust flows or maybe there's a very old system a legacy system that has about 100 workflow rules to 200 process builders you have to migrate them to flows because they might stop working salesforce might stop uh, stop you know even using them so what would you have to do you would have to migrate them to flow you would have to get them into the new automation tool so can you build those robust flows yes you if you can you can get hired for that specifically for that so it's not like i need to know my entire salesforce platform i need to know four or five clouds i need to have 15 certifications i need to be able to write all lightning web component code and then i'll get hired no if you are someone who is confident with flow builders that's a good enough reason for people to hire you right and then if you want to become a valuable resource in your team and have a stand at areas where in flows are considered or flows are taken into consideration this is for you okay that's good enough reasons why you need it and i have not created a slide for why do you not need it because like i said we should not be drowning in the ocean we should be sailing in the boat we might not be the first people to reach the shore but we should be on the boat and trying hard okay and that's why it's not too soon but never too late so let's go with the flow okay cool